That is a chaos opening. I'm incredibly nervous right now. No, 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 Toxic. It's okay. It's fine. And it's okay. Because it's Spark who had the vibe check. I'm deeply uncomfortable about that. Right. Thank you for the bit. Thank you. Let me catch up with Twitch chat. Also, hello, Meta. Hello. Um. So what book in my bag did I read today? Not only did I read Arcanum Unbounded, I actually read the Alamancer Jack thing, and it was okay. It was fun. Um, I also bought Rhythm of War Part 1 and 2. Um, also, Luigi's Mansion 3 is officially on the list. I would put it on my phone, but my phone has very little charge, so it's over there right now. Um, and it's okay, Toxic. It's okay. <laughs> Sorry to subject me to Luigi's Mansion 3. Only for, like, three whole streams. Besides, people love those games. That's supposed to be good, right? I need a fucking haircut. I can't see shit. Like, like I can't, I need to do this. I need to forehead. I, cause this is, this is getting bad. <sighs> this is terrible. It's okay, Toxic, it's fine. I don't mind. I'm sorry that um, the game you wanted to recommend is now going to be after Hollow Knight Pantheon's res, um, Metal Gear Rising, Resident Evil 2, and now Luigi's Mansion 3. <laughs> That's fine. You have enough to recommend another game right now? I will I will ban you. I will ban you from doing that. Hearing Bright having the stream open in their room. Uh, having different stream delay is really funny. Everyone has different stream delay. And that's that's what makes streams so personal, you know? Like you think you're hearing me in real time. Ho ho ho, you are not. If you called me right now, um, you simply would be hearing me even more delayed, uh, which would be very funny. Um, it's just fine. It's like, it's okay. It's fun, the, the Alancer Jack thing, but it's like, it's not, it's not great. It's just fun. Um, you can have your copy of the game for as long as you need it because you've completed it. Thank you. It's, it's for the Switch, right? Luigi's Mansion 3? Three? 3's for the Switch? Noise. Um, so like one and a half thousand dollars till you could have subject me to at least 50 streams worth of burglary simulator dating sim. Is it Persona 5 by any chance? Is it Persona 5? Is it Royale? Is that, is that what I'm getting subjected to? And what do you mean at least 50 streams worth? You know I only do it for three, right? Three or if I really, really like the game, I'll do it for more. Three is all I sign up for. Three is all that's in the contract. I am not contracted to do any more. You, you have not read the legally binding agreement that I personally wrote up. Um. What? No! Yeah, no, okay, sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to assume. That what no gives me confidence that it is not Persona 5. Or any spin-off or uh, uh, sibling thereof. Um. It's Switch, okay, nice. On your laptop, it's three seconds. On your iPad, it's like 20 to 30. Oh yeah, like iPad probably counts as mobile and Twitch mobile is crap. It's bold crap. of you to assume you won't fall in love with it and play it to completion on screen. I'm simply confident you'll adore it. I probably will. I mean, even if I don't play it full on stream, um, if you recommend it and I purchase it and I play some of it and I like it, even if I don't stream it, I will engage with it past the stream. For example, Resident Evil 1, um, I am done with now, but I kind of loved it in a way that I also hated it. So I keep finding myself kind of wanting to play it, but I also know that if I played it in my own time, I, I wouldn't really get very far. And to be honest, I'd rather watch someone else play it. So I've been watching um, uh, Penny Parker's <laughs> playthrough. Except she only got to like a little bit further than me and also I feel really validated because um, it, it has taken like 15 parts for Penny Parker to get into the courtyard and that makes me feel joy. To be fair, I think she's playing on hard difficulty and I'm not, but you know, she's a real gamer. Mobile's the lady, yeah. Stop your rest of at four. Yeah, I got to four because like I think as well, one of those streams for Resident Evil was really short, so 
It just felt fair. Um, Bro, these puppies wasn't very morning. Very cringe. Very cringe. Am I right or am I wrong? I think I'm right. Um, have I seen real time fan dub Resident Evil? Hold on. Is there a real time fan dub for the first Resident Evil? No, for Resident Evil 2? Oh, for Resident Evil 2. You had me so excited. I've seen, um, I've seen the Resident Evil 2, um, fan dub. And it's very good. I love it so much. Not only have I seen Club Penguin use a floppy feet's mindscape, um, and associated demons, um, Ibley will be wobbly 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 Resident Evil 2 really lends itself to that dub, you know? Like, it's perfect. Let's try and fight this thing. Ow. Ow, my goodness. Right, let's try and- f ah! Oh my goodness! I have no idea how to fight this thing. I've kind of got no clue. This fight is rough. Yeah, I feel like it. <sighs> Shit. The timing for that dodge is going to be so awkward, isn't it? Um, I've seen Shadow Dub. Shadow Dub is good. My thing with, like, most of the Sonic dubs is that because... If you compare sh the Shadow Dub to the Resident Evil 2 dub, Resident Evil 2 has more of, like, I don't know, cutscenes and through lines, and it's it almost feels more like movie game so it, it feels easier to dub same with like um the until dawn dub it just it goes more natural i think <laughs> like i like the shadow dub don't get me wrong but resident evil 2 dub resident evil 2 dub my beloved okay okay ow Oh, fuck, how do I dodge you? That's so awkward. Oh my goodness, I hate you. I hate you so much. Ah! Oh, this is awful. when I fuck up the, uh, fire. Like, my fire is the one shot I have at ah! hitting it, and... Okay, the rolling dodging is not, like, horrendous. It's just, like... Ah, it's a little awkward. Oh, this is so shit. This is so shit. I'm gonna have to do this a lot, aren't I? You have another game wreck, but, like, it's a one-off. I don't want to use the 25,000 mellows for a one-off game. That's fair. Um, yeah, 25k mellows is for something that, like, yeah, like, something that you think I would need at least three streams, um, generally. Um, you're, you're, like, everyone is always welcome to be like, hey, here's a game I think you would enjoy. Please play it, you know? Ah, uh, you can turn around. Stinky. So stinky. Okay, I'm getting there with rolling the, the rolls, dodging the rolls, rolling the dodges. Okay, um, it is much easier to simply attack with fire. Ah! Okay, I roll this way, and I dodge this way. Roll this way, and I dodge this way. Ah! Okay, I don't think that took a hit, thankfully. Ha! <laughs> it doesn't help when I dodge. Okay. God, I'm gonna be here for a long time. This is a bad fight for a person like me. Who is bad at games. 
you gonna roll again? And that's right, you're not gonna roll because that would be incredibly rude. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is fine. This is going five, five this is, this is going five so far. Sorry, I was gonna say this is fine and then I read Persona 5 Royale. Okay, so Persona 5 Royale is on my list. You love to see it. You love to see it. You really do. Ow. This is fucking awful. This is the worst. The worst thing about the rolls actually is that you can like perceivably, you could theoretically dodge them just from like staying mostly still and just kind of walking in a straight line, you know? Phases. That's phases. I don't like this. I'm not having a good time right now. I'm actually having a bad one. Okay, so trash is redeemed too today. Is it bad that I full, like, wholeheartedly believe trash could probably redeem more? Um, I'm really struggling with the timing on when to hit this guy. This girl, even. Ah. This crimcha. When do I hit you, Crimcha? Ah! Well, not now. I definitely don't hit you now. Right then. You meant the one off? <laughs> You've been trounced. You've been japed. That's fine. That means that uh, Toxic can spend the 25k on the one off. It works out the same. You know, it's the same. You're only 5,000 mellows. Oh, God. I'd. Listen, I'll do more uh, mellow spending, like marshmallow spending streams at some point, I promise. In fact, hold on. Let me have both of those games to the rec list while I remember. Because otherwise I'm absolutely going to forget. Um, the stream will end and I will simply think, what a wonderful stream where no one recommended any games and I didn't add any to my recommendations list. Um, right. Persona 5 Royale. Piss, piss, piss. Um, so, Resident Evil 2, and then we have Luigi's Mansion 3, uh, 3, and then that 4, 3, even, and then we have, I'm gonna put by trash brackets toxic, um, Persona, Persona 5, Royale, um, and that's it, right? That's right. So we, so we just, <laughs> we have, we have Hollow Knight Pantheons, Magic Gear Rising, Resident Evil 2, Luigi's Mansion 3, and Persona 5. My favorite trilogy of games. I love, I, I love that trilogy. So weird that they, uh, they renamed the games between numbers and they also skipped the number four, but you know, it happens also I will hydrate. Right, I have no idea what the timing is on this little character. The rec list is back, and honestly, it may have to be taken away. And I say have to, I don't mean like people are abusing it. Like people are using it the way it is meant to be used. The issue with the rec list system is there are simply too many of you, too many marshmallows, and too little time. Ow, that hurt me. Okay, so I can get in a hit. Ow. Except actually... So ideally I would dodge behind it. I would dodge behind it. And then... So if I see it going, I dodge and then I do that and then I run again. Okay. So I need to dodge in the direction it's jumping and I probably need to dodge twice. I uh, still play Have a Nice Death. It's a 2D roguelite that uh, is kind of a mix between Hades and Hollow Knight. He plays Death, Literal Grim Reaper, beating up all his employees because he has corporate burnout. It'd be a little crunchy, but it's good. And it's like really unknown. That's giving um this game vibes a little bit. Um have a nice death game. Hold on, this really looks like 
like even the box art really similar to Death's Door, but in terms of how it looks like it plays, it looks like it plays very differently. Hmm. This came out this year? This year even. Hold on. Let me add that to my Steam um wish list. Just out of curiosity. It's one of those things. Oh, I'm searching Steam in Steam. Um a nice death. If it's on my wish list, then I'll get an email if it ever goes on sale, and I'll be like, hmm, tee hee. Although it looks like it's early access, so I'm guessing that's why it's crunchy. It looks really good. It looks very Hollow Knight. <sighs> I feel seasick. That's bad. It's probably because um, I've been on buses a lot today. I took like a 50 minute, well, it was more like 45 minute bus ride. Um to like a local town, I guess, a local high street. Um, and I did shopping there and it was very fun. You haven't had another chance yet. I'm sorry about that party, them's the breaks. I said, I said when Resident Evil 1 is done um, that I would reopen the Reckless. Should I have a travel sickness tablet? I think I will. I can find them anyway. Oh my goodness. There they are. Why would I bury my travel sickness tablets underneath aspirin and Vaseline? I take way more travel sickness tablets than I do either of those things. I pop these things on the daily. Constantly traveling. Constantly sick. Sick and wounded. That's me. Um... Environmental storytelling is Hollow Knight. It handles kind of like Hollow Knight. Um, oh, it doesn't have the s it doesn't have the same environmental storytelling, but it does handle like Hollow Knight. Yeah, it's got that sort of visual look um, from just the brief couple second clip I had on the Steam page. Looks similar to the handling, and the gameplay loop is more Hades ish. Okay, so it's more Hades in the sense of like that's the storytelling. It's more loopy. Has like a vibe. Yeah, it honestly looks like a good shout. And it's not too expensive either. Like it's it's already pretty cheap. I say I'd probably get it if it goes on sale, but it's early access, so I might just see if I fancy that kind of game anytime soon. Pick it up between one and four, this is really important. Okay, uh yeah, three. Three please. I will have three. You die and you unlock weapons and you pick them up randomly as you head down your tower beating up as many employees as possible. Okay, so it's random in the Hades sense, but it's Hollow Knight in the handling. That does sound really good. Um, because if there's anything about Hades that I probably liked the least, it was the handling. Okay, hold on. Let's try and... Okay, so it does go behind itself. I do not know the best way to hit you. Hmm. It's definitely not that. No! What have you done, Toxic? What have you done? What? Why have I just got three Steam notifications? Why did I pick the number three? I should have known. I should have picked one. No! Thank you for the bits. I let me fight this little guy and then I can and then I can see what they are. What have you done? Genuine fear. It shouldn't be fear. It's not like fear fear. It's more like, you know, happy fear, but still fear. Ow! God, I'm so impatient. I just want this character to die. Perish at sea. Perish at sea and may your heart calcify into stone. Oh, damn. No. Damn it. Okay. Toxic, I love you and you are wonderful. I'm gonna decline a couple of these. Not just because this is too much of a gift, but also because one of them uh, is not meant to be on my wish list because uh, I have access to it via my brother's uh, PS4. Okay. You just got a raise? You just got a raise. You could buy three games. You could have them. Really considerable. Congratulations. 
This is good. No, I'm happy for you. I appreciate getting things. I promise that. You know what? I'll take... I'll take one. Because as much as I appreciate getting things, and I appreciate uh, you, like, giving your friends things, um, I... I, I can feasibly, you know, do this. And I like the idea of you being able to give your money to, I don't know, to you. No, do not worry. You've not put me on the spot. I really do appreciate this. And I am absolutely going to take uh, Have a Nice Death off your hands. <laughs> because, of course, a steam gift is when you simply have it on your hands and you're thinking to yourself, where do I put this? Um, I'm holding it, and it has to go somewhere. So you put it, you put it in a steam little little package, and then you uh, you put it on some doorstep, and you knock on the door, and then you run. <laughs> Which is the most fun way to deliver things. Thank you very much, Toxic. I picked the number three. I did this. Also, let me catch up with Twitch chat very briefly. Um, you had a four-hour train. You hate trains. Yeah, I mean you have a lot of bad train experience recently, Party. I'm very sorry. I hope they were all on time. And didn't randomly get stuck for like an hour, just in the middle of nowhere. Silk Song is real. They renamed it and changed the developer and story and characters and gameplay and theming. Yeah, no, it is real. That's what that game is. Spark, stop having nice vibes. If your vibes stay this high, I'm gonna have to ban you because otherwise you're just gonna keep ending my stream. I don't want to end my stream. Okay, right, let's do this. 80%? Why is the vibe checker? being so high today. Okay. I've absolutely got time. When it, um... Oh, does anyone actually have an advice? Um, anyone who's played this game? Anyone, any advice on when the best time to hit this crimture is? Because I'm really, really struggling for like, moments that feel right, you know? I feel like if my reach was a little better, it would be okay. But I'm nervous. Ah, that wasn't bad. That was good reach. Okay. That was- that wasn't great. Okay. Okay. I actually kind of like dodging the rolls. The issue I have is with the actually hitting. Ah! I need to run. You really struggled with this. Uh, maybe after the land before the swipe combo thing. You just used fire. Honestly, yeah. I see that as being the main uh, damage hitter for me as well. Because it only really works on the swipe if you if you really get it perfect, you know? But I see why you struggled. This is God, how long how long is this fight? Like how much how much hitting does you does you require? Okay. It's not terrible. Getting into the swing of it. Everything's okay. You have good vibes, you do have good vibes. Oh, and the vibe checker had good vibes for you, I guess, as well. Hello, yellow. Hi. How's everyone today? I'm doing okay. We just got to face two of this guy. Uh, this Crimcher. Which is good, honestly, because it's kind of scary. Those rolls are very fast and, like, very narrow. Oh, shit, that does hit. I was hoping it wouldn't. Um, for some reason. I thought that this person could simply land upon me, and I would be fine. Okay. Ah! Okay, I swear, I swear everything is speeding up. Ah! I shouldn't have done that. That was, a uh, not worth the risk. Well, I have to hit at some point. Simple as that. Okay, and then roll again. God, I hope I simply have enough fire for this. Okay. Any 
any other hints from anyone who's played this game? Anyone know when a good time to try and hit this guy is? Ah! That was bad, and my fire missed. What's even the point if my fire misses? Read up? What does read up mean? Are you- what? You've not played this game? Very fair. Have you heard of it? It is very fun. Like, it's very fun. Um, it's just currently a little bit difficult. Oh, read up, that's what you mean. I thought you were telling me to like, read up on the subject, like become an expert. Okay. Everything's fine. Okay. Um, random stop for about 20 to 30 minutes somewhere, but otherwise all to time. Uh, just a long journey from Welsh Coast to Redacted. Hell yeah. We love Redacted. And we love the Welsh Coast. And then a coach to Oxford tomorrow. Lots of travel for you. Lots and lots of travel. Enjoy Oxford. I hear it rains there all the time, always, constantly, and there is no end to it. And I hear that sometimes the rain the rain is rum, and uh, sometimes it's water, um, and then sometimes it's like champagne, um, because it's Oxford. Like a different weapon. You only have time for a couple hits at a time, no matter which weapons to make them count. Um, is there one that has better range? <clears throat> I think I'm gonna go for the sword, then. Because if I can get a couple hits in, that's that's not terrible. Okay. As in Megan Fra? Certainly is. That's my name, for context. I am not named Megan. And I'm not from Oxford. But um we, we like to we like to kid. You know how much time to play games than if you're playing them with Spider-Man and Split Okay? I hear Spider-Man's good. I am assuming, to be fair, you mean like the PS5 uh Spider-Man. Um with the uh the Miles Morales Spider-Man that came out recently. I hear that is very good. Ah, I missed. Okay, this this is a complete loss. Honestly, I might just lose and begin again with this one. <clears throat> um. Sword heart. <laughs> I've not really used the sword. The second I got daggers, <clears throat> hold on. The second I got daggers, um, I used them. So I am unfamiliar with the range. But the daggers definitely have the worst range. They're like a close-up, but they hit Lot's weapon. Which uh, is normally what I like. Okay, wait, that's not bad. So if I wait until after the swipe to hit, that's not, like, terrible. Ah, but then sometimes swipes again. God, this one's so yucky. Um, the remaster they ported it to PC, you have to get it running on Proton. I don't even know what that is. That must be, um, at least a certain level of technical difficulty, if I don't know what it is. Because I'm an expert in all things. Also, I haven't heard of Splitgate, either. Um, ow! I rolled too early. I was simply foolish. Foolish and dumb. God damn. It doesn't help that this Crimcher's range is just kind of better than mine. Okay. Yep, we're gonna stick to fire as much as we can. Okay. I've only actually been to Oxford like twice. And it's like fine. Oh no, three times. Three times. They have a good uh, restaurant called Comptoir. Comptoir Lebanese. It's Lebanese food and it's yummy. And the restaurant is very fun. It's got lots of colors and it's got pink and it's got purple and it's got tile. And the bathroom is downstairs. It's kind of weird to get to, to be completely honest. Splitgate is like Halo and Porter. Huh, okay. Wine fork or wine. You play on Linux, so you need to use wine to play Windows games. Ah, okay, okay. You play on Linux, so the world is harder for you, and I'm truly sorry. As a Windows user, I'm sorry that, um, I'm so sorry that we've done this to you. I'm sorry we've made everything slightly harder. Um. Okay. This fight sucks. I don't mean sucks in like a 
I mean sucks in the sense that I'm bad at it. And therefore it sucks. <laughs> okay, we're in this mode. I, I see, I see. I could definitely get a hit in at that point, you know? I just feel like I can. Um, Yumbi. It really is Yumbi. Damn it. I perished. I perished at sea. I'm the one perishing at sea. I'm the one whose heart is calcifying and being washed up and then kept in my wife Mary Shelley's pocket or something until she too perishes. Guess where you're traveling to at the moment? The Wirral? The Wirral! That's my favorite part of the UK that is real and definitely exists. I love that part of the UK. God, I hope you enjoy the Wirral. I hope the Wirral brings you joy. As it does all of the woodland creatures that doth live there. Do partake in its berries and snacks. Ooh, I got two fire in. That was a terrible idea. Ow. Ah, that was terrible. <laughs> I get so impatient. I just want to hit it. Just want it to die. It's actually not hard. You just need to pick a proton version. Okay, so once you've got like the stuff figured out, it doesn't like playing games is easy enough. Linux is more easy in some ways, but in other ways, Windows is more easy. I've always thought that um, well, my limited understanding anyway is that Windows is sort of just friendly for people with really basic understanding of like where stuff is on a computer. And Linux is a bit more for like when your understanding is a bit more in depth. Um, like as far as I'm aware, isn't Linux easier to like do extra stuff with? Ow, I died. I died, didn't it? Comptoir and Redacted, my beloved. Comptoir is good. Comptoir is good everywhere. They do this very fun thing where um, when you order fancy tea that comes in a fancy pot, the person that pours it doesn't just pour it into the, the cup for you. And they don't just leave you to pour it. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. They take the cup and they take their fancy teapot and they purposefully lift the cup up as they're pouring it um, to both put the fear of God in you as a person you don't know holds very boiling water slightly above your head, but also because it just looks kind of neat. That part in the whirl where the whirl said it's whirling time and then they whirl all over the bad guy. Ha! <laughs> Everyone loves that bit. It's just good. That bit's just so good. My favorite part of the world is at the end when when uh, the world's looking at the sunset and it and it sort of smiles and goes, hmm. I guess you could say, we world. Um, that bit's also really good. Okay. I think I'm just gonna try and get by on fire, honestly, because I, I I'm not hitting it, you know. Um. At least not often enough. Ah! Okay. That was fine. We got like two hits in there. That's pretty solid. I'll take it. Most games work out of the box on Linux. Okay, so it's most games. It's just some games decide to be little shits. <laughs> Actually, if I'm completely honest, I'm like, oh, my understanding of Linux is that it's easier to code. No. My understanding of Linux is um, that in the book series, The Princess Diaries, it's what Lily's older brother, Michael, uses. And Michael's supposed to be a tech genius, so I've always just assumed that it's good and better. Um, because of book written in 90s. Um, but also, to be fair, in that book, they still have, like, dial-up internet or something, so sometimes there's, like, plot points where characters are uncontactable because their siblings are using the internet or something, which is very funny. I laugh. I do laugh. Hold on. God, there's a lot of stuff I've missed in Twitch chat. I'm gonna pause because I think I need a break anyway from this guy. It's taking too long. It's taking too long. Um, because you read the worlds in all caps. You read it as the world and you thought it was a JoJo reference. You thought Corvus was heading to the world though. The world though. <laughs> Your brain was too much, but at least more JoJo Stone Ocean comes out on September 1st. Amazing, yeah, that was the date we all knew. It definitely isn't also brain rot associated, absolutely. Your favorite Harry Potter character is Professor Quithawirl. Yeah, I love that guy. Did you know he's actually from the world, and that's why they call him Quithawirl? Uh, Linux is easy for learning about computers, but you may have to fiddle with it. 
Uh, but when you know it's easy, with Linux it's more um, easy to make it look how you want. You can change everything about it, Windows has problems, so you switch no one back. Very fair. And I suppose once you've gotten the hang of Linux, and it's easy, and it's way more customizable, and, you know, most things you can just do as normal, and only a few things you have to change, why would you go back? Windows does suck. They just keep updating it, and every time it's worse. Sounds like a Twitch bot, but you spent last 15 minutes selling all of your Steam trading cards and you've got like nearly a pound and a half of Steam credit from nothing. Wait! How much is a Steam trading card worth? And how do you sell it? Specifically, how would I sell mine? Because I don't know how many I have, but it's definitely more than zero. Damn it! I need to stop trying to hit him when he when he's about to do this. So I keep saying he! What is happening to me? The he him brain rot! Get one to three P from Steam Trading Card, and you get like three five them from every game you buy and play. Holy shit! So it's basically just a really long-winded way of Steam being like, here's loyalty points, you cretin, you piece of shit. Well, thank you for my loyalty points, Steam. I do love to be loyal. Ah! Oh my god, that was a really good dodge, considering I felt really unprepared for that one. Okay, and then you stop, right? And then you stop. Okay. Okay. Damn it, I knew that was gonna be a roll and I don't know why I risked it. I don't know why I risked it. They don't know a set poem first because Netflix does a shit job of promoting JoJo's, even though it's one of their most popular anime. That's because uh, Netflix hates JoJo's secretly. They hate him, and they hate his bizarre adventures. Well, I've really fucked up. We were doing so good. What is this phase? Why are bombs falling from the ceiling? What? I hate this fight. This fight sucks. It makes sense that it's hard, because it's the third one. But this this is not just hard. This is slow. And there, there feels like there's no way to speed this up. Like, I could just get good and hit more. But don't you know how hard that is for me? It's really hard for me. I can't do that. Okay. Maybe I can get good. Time to pull a spiffing print sell cards for $30 by exploiting the stocks. <laughs> what do you mean the stocks? Do not tell me there is a Steam stock market. I will be so mad. I will cope and I will seethe. Actually, more accurately, I will not cope. I will simply seethe. <laughs> but I would love to make $30. I've bought a lot of games over the years. I feel like I've probably got like a, a hefty amount of these mystical Steam numbers. Ow. Ah! Ah! Okay. Video games are hard when you're bad at them and your thumbs are made out of just like, I don't know, styrofoam. Honestly. I got styrofoam hands and my bones are made out of glass. And every morning, the styrofoam protects my glass fingers from shattering. And I simply go about my day as normal. It's horrendous. Ah! Okay, at least strong fire. That makes me happy. Brings me joy. The roll, the roll, ah, the roll, the roll, it's still happening. The roll happens in threes, and I forget every time. Okay, I don't think I took a hit there. I think I'm okay. You spent it all on TF2 cosmetics? Why would you do that? Why? Hold on, I want to know how many I have. I'm finding out. You can't stop me. This fight is really rough. Like, I can already tell this fight is gonna be today's stream. Like, we've we've only been going for like 40 minutes. And only like 25 of that has been the actual game, but I can tell. I just know it. How do I find my, my trading cards? Um, you can get a little discount on the next game you buy. <laughs> How pockets. If you go to your Steam profile and then you click level. Level in the top right. Level, okay. 
You can go through game by game, create listings for every single one. Okay. Oh, fuck. Um. Okay, so I've got a few. I've got like a few. I've got like a couple. Um. There is a Steam stock market? Shut up. I'm so mad about this. So how do I do- what is this? Why? Okay. Um, most cards will sell immediately because people have purchase order set up because they want to collect them all. I feel like- so wait, so real people are paying for these? This is so I feel terrible. I mean, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna exploit the Steam stock market, but I feel- I feel bad. Some people care about completing the sets. You know, if you care about completing the sets, incredibly valid. I just feel bad that I can just sell. How do I sell? Wait, how do I sell? <laughs> what about rarity? I don't think I have anything that rare, actually. <laughs> I, think, I think everything's pretty normal. Um, three cards, three cards, three cards, three cards, three cards. Four cards, five cards, three cards, three cards, three cards, three cards, three cards, three cards, five cards, three cards, three cards, six cards, three cards, three cards, three cards, three cards, three cards, three cards. Oh, five cards even. Four cards, four cards, four, four, three, 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 two, 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 six, two, two, two. That's quite a few. Oh, eight, three, three, four, uh, two, 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 three, two, two, one, 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 one. That's like a couple, right? That's like a few. Hmm. Uh, click on one of the games where you have cards in the list. Click on the game. And then you can click sell these cards on the market. Okay. Why does Steam even have these? I could make six pence from this. You're telling me I can make six pence? That's insane! This is insane! Why does this exist? Uh, okay, I'm gonna do more of that later. I'm gonna do way more of that, actually. Actually, now I think about it, I'm gonna do way more of that. That was very fun. You sell them to other people? Damn. If you buy all of one card, then you can sell them for however high you want them to be. Fuck, so they're really- there's genuinely a stock market that you could exploit. Delightful. Amazing. Here's my new plan. I'm gonna get lots of hits in- in the early for this guy. And by guy, I mean little character. And I already took a hit because I simply missed the roll button. With my stinky styrofoam fingers. Okay. Okay. This time I'm not gonna roll. You have Miles Tails proud foil trading card from Sonic Mania and it's selling for nearly a pound. That's wild. So you're telling me if, how do you get Steam cards? By just like playing the game? Do you have to do certain things in the game or do you just play enough of it and you get them? Like what's the, how do I grind for these cards? How do I put in my time and make money? Fuck. Fuck! I'm so bad at aiming! It's literally like not even that difficult- uh, Oh, this is shit. This is a shit run. I tried so good. I tried so good and it just didn't work. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm in pain. Okay, it's just playtime? Okay, kill me. Kill me, my friend. I wanna try again. Um. If you learn how that market works, you can get free games. That's feral. That's absolutely feral that that is just a system that exists. I don't know how I feel about it, about the, the Steam stock market. I think the answer is bad. I think I feel not good about it. Ow. Probably gonna roll now, aren't you? Oh, no, 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 no. Rolling now, though. 
Okay, one more roll. <sighs> Missed. Okay, I can only get one in with the fire reliably. And I also need to be careful for when it rolls. Um, yeah, your Chromebook can't run it. Um, honestly, I would not put it past the Chromebook to just fully not be able to run it, you know? Um, Chromebooks are good for like very specific purposes and very bad for gaming. If you are an employee, Chromebooks are incredible. If you do literally anything else, Yeah, this fight sucks. <laughs> it's kind of boring. <sighs> I am coping a little. This is a little bit cope and seethe, to be fair. To be fair, it's not that bad. I just want to be able to yell about it. Ow. Okay. I don't even know how much I love yelling about things. Um, you can only get a certain amount per game. Okay. Wait, so, so basically you're saying, oh, so that's why people buy them. So you're saying that, you know, I could, at a certain point of playtime in a game, I've got as many cards in that game as I will ever get, you know? Hence why people then will buy the rest, because that's kind of their only shot at getting more. That makes sense. I mean, I mean, I say it makes sense. It seems like a system Steam invented that is completely pointless, that plays on people's uh, enjoyment of collection and uh, is used to make them money and make their users feel like they're making money. Overall, feels like a scam. But you know, I'm not one to not participate in a scam. I love scams. I've been participating in those things. <sighs> Probably, yeah, probably forever. Okay. This this round feels like it's going well. This is fine. Uh, you figured out running it and then discovered that the hardware just isn't up for it. Yeah, Chromebooks are your friend, but they're also your enemy. Okay. That was a roll. That was good that I didn't fire. Okay. I missed. This is such a stinky boss fight. <sighs> this is stinky as hell. No ways to boot custom Linux. Uh, no points to common games. Yeah. <laughs> I hate this boss. Nothing but negative feeling in my heart of hearts. In my heart of the cards, I have nothing but negative feeling. Ow! Oh, this bit absolutely sucks. This bit absolutely sucks. Are they just gonna keep falling? I cannot focus on hitting him if these things are simply just going to fall. Ah, I'm having an awful time right now. Awful time. Oh, come on. <laughs> I was so close. Um. Follow the guy and get in Steam via Linux, which worked, but all games you're attempting were unplayable in terms of struggling, you can even select things. Okay, so the Chromebook. Chromebook is just not meant to play video games. It's not meant to be. You are simply meant to, like, I don't know, write. You're meant to write essays on a Chromebook. If you write anything online, you need Grammarly and a Chromebook. And if you do anything else, you need anything else. Ah. Oh my god. That was a really good dodge. I'll be honest, this boss is really good when you dodge. Like, a dodge is really satisfying. But, um, everything else sucks. Like, this is- it, 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 It's hard to call this fun. Okay. 
little bits of fun. It's satisfying. It's satisfying in a really awful way where it's also very not satisfying. Like, that final phase, I don't... I personally don't see how I'll get around it. Do you want me to beat up the bad yet? Like, a little bit. To be honest, a little bit. Can you make a problem go away? Can I put in minimal effort and have the thing simply stop? Ow. I would have dodged, except my, um... My thumb fell off of the, the thingy. The, uh, the joystick. My thumb fell off. I fell off. Ah. Okay, that was a waste of a turn. A turn? What am I talking about? Every time I fire and he turns into a ball. Why am I he hemming? He him brain rot is real. Okay, can you please perish yet? I'll do if that becomes a genuine request. No, I will do it. I'll get there eventually. It's just this absolutely is gonna take most of today. Like, this is today's stream. And that's fine. I'm okay with that. But I don't think the rest of you should be. I think you should unionize and campaign for better. You need a PC for college stuff you need to do? Yeah, valid. Honestly, um, me too. Just because, um, ow. There are some programs that I don't imagine I'd be able to run easily with a Chromebook um, for similar reasons of trash not being able to, I imagine. Um, like some statistical software, some protein imaging stuff, but like, I don't really need to do that anymore. <sighs> you buy something better to run stuff on, but you don't play a ton of games. And between the PS5 and the Switch, I have everything covered. Yeah, I mean, if you don't play a lot of PC games and everything you like is Switch PS5, then you, you're fine. To be honest, most most games are Switch PS5, you know? Like, that's most games. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna try and be super aggressive with taking you down. And let's just hope that it pays off. Ow, it did not pay off. Okay, it's like paying off a little actually. Ow! Fuck this bit specifically. Screw this bit specifically. This is the worst. I hate bullet hell, except the bullets are in the ceiling and I'm wow wah. Okay. The worst part is. Feels like we're getting there. No! <laughs> yeah. That felt like it was gonna happen. Ow. Um, you really want me to get to the next box? The next boss, the next one is so good. Well, yeah, I would also love to get to the next boss. I bet it's incredible. Unfortunately, this one for now. This is all we have. Okay. Okay, we're making our hits count though. Ow. I need to not get hit in this first bit. You know, I can tank some of the hits later on if I simply don't get hit here. Um, which does make me feel like this one is a completely failed run. But that's okay. You know, sometimes these things happen. Hello? Hello. You know, I'm gonna blame the fact that I took a hit there on whoever followed. Um, thank you for the follow, by the way. Uh, I do apologize, I can't currently see who it was, but I thank you anyway, and I will actually check at the... at the very end. How did I not die there? That feels... 
frankly terrifying. It's your fault of a casserole. Thank you for the follow. Uh, but I will hold this against you forever. This is what I will know you as now for all of my life. For my long life, I will cope. I will see. You. I have no more hits. That's upsetting. Ha! I nearly ran into that one. 2045, and the mighty Melomaniacs can still be seen beating up a big silly yeti. Oh, you joke! You joke! 2045 is a time rather than a year? Very possible. Actually, we've already surpassed 2045, the time. So, enjoy. You don't think you would enjoy learning how to hashtag for three hours with an old laptop TPU? No, generally the fun of things is kind of sucked away when they take a long time. Anyway, this boss. Um, can you use the hookshot upgrade? You didn't have it when fighting? Ah, I could, but I feel like I don't want to be close to this thing, you know? I'll give it a try, because why not? No. 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 I'm not trying my absolute hardest, to be fair. But this sucks. This is terrible. <laughs> this sucks. No. 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 It's okay. It's okay, Trash. You know... The point of this game isn't that you beat it first time. It's not like I've wasted a, a death. It's fine. Um, seems you've been at death's door for a while. Maybe they're not home. I'm going to try again tomorrow. I will not try again tomorrow. They should be in. They said they would be in. This is their fault. They will not accept it. Okay. I need to not take a single hit in this section. <laughs> You order delivery to that store and they never arrived. I just wanted to send them a little something, a little treat. Oh, it doesn't help when I just completely miss, does it? It's not even that 3D of a 3D space. You'd think that I'd find it easy enough. Was that a Namri summon? That was a little bit of a Namri summon. That was a... A bot, if I do say so myself. Which I do. I do say that. I've been known to say that that is a bot. Uh, yeah, I feel like I've been at this particular death store for a while. Like, I, I feel like I've been knocking. No one's answering. No one's home. Can someone please answer the door? I suffer every second that I fight this big yeti. I suffer so badly. This is not a fight for me. I'm not good at fight big thing, you know? Oh, I'm so lucky that that fire actually hit. So lucky. Oh my goodness. Everything is fine. This is fine. Please jump. I really want to be able to hit you. Ow. It seems you hit me. Fuck! I, I pressed the button! I promise I pressed the button. God, my... Thumbs are so made out of glass and polystyrene. God, if I had real thumbs, I'd be so good at video games. You don't even know. If I was a real boy with thumbs, I'd be unstoppable. You've got literally, you've got literally no idea. <laughs> I will duel you in the midnight streets. Guess who foreshadowed the new Taylor Swift album? It was me. I'm the one that Taylor Swift will duel in the Midnight Streets in the hit new album, Midnight. Which is about dueling, me specifically, in the Midnight Streets. <gasps> oh, it is bad for me to have one health on this last bit. Yep, see, that's why. Because sometimes I roll into things. Wait, Big Follows is censored? What do you mean? Who censored it? They're even censoring it when Nightbot says it now? I feel offended. I'm hurt. Nightbot isn't supposed to be censored. <sighs> Almost 300? 300 what? 300 quotes? Oh shit, nearly 300 quotes. That's um... That is a lot of quotes, isn't it? it almost makes you wonder um, how I could say so many things that that many quotes can be generated. They can't all be winners. Some of those quotes are going to have to be losers. In fact, actually, 
I say hundreds of things by the minute. And in about eight months of streaming, only 300 of those things have actually been quotable. The rest of it's been shit. Okay. Thank you for hanging out, Yellow. Enjoy work. You know, I say sarcastically. Ha ha ha. I hate Mondays. Garfield hates Mondays. Oh, I'm lucky that hit. I'm lucky that hit. I much prefer it when this big yeti is actually a, uh, a, a fireball rather than simply a thing designed to upset specifically me. Ah! Why would it turn around and stab me? What did I do? Miller, I just heard a car go past and I'm surprised <laughs> that I didn't hear it on stream despite the fact we have not lived on the same street for well over No, no, no. Years. I'm very glad that uh, I've personally ingrained in you a deep suspicion and fear of other vehicles. If I wanted to achieve anything in my time on this planet, I wanted specifically to make you concerned about cars, you know? That's what I want. Oh, my glasses are falling off. This is a really bad time for my glasses to be steadily slipping down my nose. I actually can't think of much of a worse time. Right, we're fine. Quote 300 has to be funny. I want quote 420 to be funny. Although at the rate we're going, we won't get that quote for a while. I mean, I'm only I'm only saying like if you do the if you do the maths, I'm probably only saying an average of one good thing a stream, <laughs> and the rest of it's just ugh. Absolute rubbish. Okay. This game copied its combat from Ben 10 Protector of Earth. So disappointed. It really did. I don't know if you remember uh, Cannonball from that game. Um, tell me if I'm wrong, but doesn't Cannonball fight by rolling up into a ball and hurtling itself at enemies? And didn't Ben 10 actually come up with that? Not Death's Door? <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. I think I'm right. Right, I think we're about to enter the final phase very soon, so I need to take as many hits as I can, and take- and No, I need to get as many hits as I can. I need to take less. That's what I meant to say. Okay. Everything's fine, just need to keep an eye on literally everything. That's great. I personally love games that make me have to focus. It makes me just feel wonderful when I'm absolutely incapable of focusing. Oh, I've got to be so close. Don't think about how close you are, Mello, just think about the journey. Definitely don't get hit by anything because that will result in General bad feeling of the heart. General malaise of the soul. So definitely don't think. <gasps> I'm just gonna keep hitting it just in case. I'm just gonna keep hitting it just in case while it's down. <laughs> That's fine. I feel fine. 300 has to be makes you wonder how I could say that many things. Good. Copy the Death Door, copy the combat. The Ben 10 Protector of Earth copied from Metroid. No! Silence, Toxic! How dare you say Pog while accusing Ben 10 Protector of Earth, one of the best games ever made, um, of copying anything. Every game made after Ben 10 copied Ben 10. I don't know how hard that is to grasp. We gather here today to mourn the passing of Betty. To some she was revered. See, this is why... What was with the he, him, brain rot? Yikes. And to a small few, loved as a radiant beauty. After many lifetimes, lived atop the mountain, supplying locals with fur or untimely deaths, she may now rest. Bow your head in remembrance, pay your respects. Pay respects, everyone. F. F for Betty. And 700 tasty little morsels for us. Um... You put that possible Q300 in mod chat? Thank you. Thank you. It was one hit off for so long. That's so disturbing. <laughs> what an incredible adventure the spin, full of twists and turns. So Betty and the Beast, one in the same, amazing. That means the drunk guy that's trying to say love. Was he in love with the Beast? Whoa. I kind of feel bad for them both. Dead or heartbroken, which she thinks is worth. They're both kind of tragic. 
That's sad. Bob, I didn't come here to say sad things. I came here to laugh. Maybe even chortle. Maybe even chuckle. I'm gonna start writing straight away once it's ready. Come by the strand to say listen to and I'll play it. Amazing. And what about you, grave digger? Another demonic soul's anger quelled. May they find peace in death. Right, in that case, off we go. Bye bye, Betty. Love you, queen. Killing it. Absolutely killing it. Absolutely, if I had to put it simply, slay. And if I had to put it complicatedly, uh, slay? Anyway. <laughs> Three bosses left. Woo! That means like I'm halfway through the game, right? Right, in that case, I think we should go use up some of our big boy points. One is optional, okay. Hit the slay button. Hit the slay button. Hit the slay button to pay your respects, actually. So that costs 1,500, so I could just make myself incredibly strong. And it increases reach? That's just really good. The Reaper's ability to attack uh, allows to charge melee in range. I forget that exists. Uh, increases chaining speed. That's pretty good. Eight times two. So I could get two 800 upgrades. So I could be... Greater speed, faster dodges, less cooldown. Ah, oh, these are all kind of good. I'm having to fight the urge to just be the strongest, you know? <laughs> I really want to just be the strongest. But also, I like getting multiple things. Yeah, we're gonna do this. I am a big spender. I spend big. This is good. This is good progress. Now we have no points. Now we suffer. Um, I'm saying he's a grave digger. He sure is. He is. He is. Why won't anyone believe me? He's digging those graves day and night. He doesn't even care who sees. Right. I need to go to the door, don't I? Is this the door that gets me to the door? Maybe. I don't really remember. I'm easily confused. You're in the Avengers Endgame now. Oh damn. Here we are. Wait, is it that? Is it that? Why does that door look like that? That just looks like a like a tear in the fabric of reality. Has that always been there and looked like that? See, now's when we realize that I have no idea how to get to the place that I'm trying to get to. This is absolutely incorrect, right? Every time I go here, I get confused for the first time again, you know? <laughs> did I win? I won. And you did, you did, you did miss it. Um, which to me, I'm implying there's a correlation causation here going on. Where, um, I won because you weren't here to witness it. Uh, so, um, everyone, here it to be known, party rockers, single-handedly, was preventing me from winning the game. Ooh, wait, there's a, there's a droppy thingy there. In fact, there's probably lots of droppy thingies in this area. That I just, I'm not remembering. I should probably explore, actually, shouldn't I? If we're about to enter the end game, I probably shouldn't just do boss to boss. Um, mean but clearly true, I'm sorry. A watchmallow never wins or something. It's true, actually, Toxic. Do you know that I'm worse at everything when someone's watching me? If you, if you don't watch me do something, I'm actually pretty good at it. Like, if there's no evidence that I did it, I'm really good. Baking on my own, I pop off. I pop off. Um, when I play video games on my own, I win every time with minimal struggle. I watched Merlo Never Maniacs. True. I never morb out. She's not even alive. True. I actually just anticipated what everyone would say at the exact right moment. What if you don't know that someone is watching you? I don't have to know, Johan. I don't have to know to know. You know? If I'm watched, I'm worse. If a tree falls in the forest and I'm the one cutting it down and you're watching me 
the tree is gonna fall on me. It's simple as that. I could have never taken down those giant souls. I'm so strong. It is time at long last to open death's door. Are we gonna do it? Let us force this door open, fledgling, and finish our assignments. Let's do it. I'm down to clown. Down to door. Death to door. Stream is live, but chat is pre-recorded. Yeah, actually. Exactly. Um, I, I, it also means that I can practice in advance. Um, so, before I stream, obviously, the reason there's gaps between streams is because I have to spend the day uh, practicing what I'm going to say. Um, and then people show up and they, they watch and I, I do my little play. I put on my improv play. My improv. And then we all laugh and it's great. We're terrible when you're being watched. See? It's just, I don't know what it is. To the other side. Off we go. I might keep the sword. I liked the daggers a lot, but I might, I might sword forever now. Shrouding is mellow. It's both winning and losing until it is observed. True. Very true. This is it. This is the place beyond where no life is to be seen. Sure does look like it. Oh, uh, hello. Hello. Who are you? That's death. Are you dead? I thought the tales of the original Reaper were just the mad ramblings of free crows. Yeah, well, I guess that's me. So if you didn't know I was real, that means you're not here to rescue me? <laughs> rescue? Is death suffering? This poor character. It's just the Hall of Fame. I feel so powerful. <laughs> Will I break the simulation if I say something randomly generated? Like computing creep agreement, father doubt form, lack advantage, shy perfect, remember autonomy, wagon action, widen cutting, countryside, block feel, surgeon. Does not compute. Does not. Ah. Uh, sorry, let me just check my check my notes. Uh. Uh. What do I say to that? Wait. I don't think prepared for this. Uh, um, uh, okay, no, I can see only one way to deal with this. Um, okay. Right, anyway, so death's real? Death's been here the whole time? That's crazy! We're here for another purpose. In fact, you might be able to help us. Why would death help us? We're not even gonna save them. Ha 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 ha! But alright, I mean, what's a few more minutes after several centuries? Why are you here? How did you even get here? Sword forever so true. I kinda like the sword. As much as I personally will always love a weapon where I can get in close, hit lots, and then leave, maybe hitting harder is better, actually. We seek souls that path through death's your door. We are service-bound reapers. We require these souls to finish our tasks and restore our statue with the commission, otherwise we will die. Awkward. If you're looking for a soul here, you're out of luck. Any non-corporeal souls that pass through the door are absorbed into the ether. Soul energy has to be recycled to create new life. That's why my job was so important. Not that the living didn't hate me for it. Dev, I'm- I don't hate you. I just think you're a little, like... You're a little hard to talk to, you know? You're a little- a little difficult to get along with, but like, it's fine. So am I. That's why I'm here with you, bud. It's okay. Oh, hi, Toxic. Welcome to the stream. What a fun first message. Is that a keyboard smash? I like a keyboard smash. I like a completely original, independent, not pre-recorded keyboard smash. I used to go around ripping souls myself, then pick them up and take them beyond the veil. But it was so depressing. Not for the souls, but for the living ones they left behind. I wish I could let them know dying isn't scary, it's just the cycle of life. The thing is, over the vastness of time, I got very tired of that cycle. But then one day, a strange being came with a proposition. This being could create portals, doors, to any place or world. They offered to outsource the collection of souls to an automated system using one of their doors. While it was open, it would draw the souls of the dead, a lighthouse on the shores of the ether, if you will. In return for this, they asked for their lives to be extended. Well, actually they asked for immortality, but that's impossible. If souls stick around too long, then uh, with nothing to turn left to mortality, they decay into demonic forms. I... 
I know it's not true, but I really get vibes that um, that our current like commissioner leader, the the Lord of Doors, is just immortal and is demonic. All life must end eventually. Eventually, but like they could hold on a little longer. While I kicked back, several generations of these self-proclaimed Lord of Doors came and went, enjoying their unnaturally long lives. So, okay, so they did, they did live for longer, but each one agreeing in the end to submit to the limitations and go into the ether. Okay. Did you want survivors in Lord of Twelve? That shit is scary. Is that a game, or is that a series? Until one didn't. Brings us to your current Lord of Doors. Towards the end of what should have been their lifespan, your Lord betrayed our long standing agreement. They said there had been some kind of incident that the door malfunction needed to be remade. For the door to be reconstructed, it would require the touch of death to link the door to the ether. But after this new door was created and opened, the Lord kicked me inside and sealed it shut. No way for me to escape. No way for stray souls to pass on to the ether. No death among the living. Okay. Wait, so no one has been dying? No one? My assigned soul, it must be here. It has to be here. Attracted to this door, it must have entered somehow. Are you sure you haven't seen it? If soul come in here without a body, it disappears to the ether. Everything that begins has to end. But that sounds good, right? That the soul disappeared into the ether? That it should have done that? <laughs> Why is gender contained in the Lord of Doors? I don't know. The, they are the Lord of Doors. They contain many dolls, and they also contain many gender. I don't control it. Isn't this just the plot of Torchwood Miracle Day? I've not seen Torchwood Miracle Day. I was watching Torchwood on, um... Now, can someone tell me this is a real thing? Before Amazon had Amazon Video, um, I'm pretty confident that they had, like, a video platform where as long as you had an Amazon account, like, an Amazon account, I swear it was free, that you could just watch anything. Because I remember watching Torchwood on my Kindle when I was like 13, and it was definitely free. And then one day it just disappeared. I don't know where it went. Yeah. Something like that. Um, I don't hate you, Death. You're just a little hard to talk to. This poor grey crow. So there's no hope? It must still be here somewhere. No, no, no. I wasted so many years searching for that soul. Decades, centuries. Don't tell me I fight. I mean, me too. Absolute mood. Absolute vibes, but I still... It still definitely comes across as uh, angry. I sense you're a little bit past your best before date. No! 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 I did not spend hundred pounds of my mother's money buying digital films. I did not. And it was just Torchwood. Oh my god, what the fuck is this? This thing slides? I can't slide? Fuck, how do I fight you? Misery. I I don't know how to fight this. You say best boss? Oh fuck. This is your opinion, the best boss? You like Bloodborne. Trash. I'm gonna cry. You know I'm gonna cry. Why is this hedgehog so grumpy? Why does it want to kill me so badly? Should I just... Should I just kill this? shot attack? Really? be fair. Oh no, I don't like this. This is yucky. Free Amazon video simply just jeffed its last Bezos. I don't know what it was. I just have a memory of there being on the Kindle, this section that was just called video, and it just had TV programs on it. Ow. While moving. I mean, I remember that, but surely whenever I... Every time I do that, it just kills me. Like, I take a hit every time I... I mean, I'll try again because I absolutely believe that I'm doing it wrong, but every time I do that... 
Oh no, okay, I did take a hit that time. I'll be honest, this seems really yucky. <laughs> I don't know why you like this. Okay, so I have to attack from the side. Oh, and I should definitely be hitting those things back at it. Oh, why is my buddy so mad? This is so awkward. I feel like I'm flailing. swimming my guy my friend my buddy my pal why are we swimming i don't know i don't know if this is fun i feel bad for saying it now but like this is just kind of yeah it's just hard i don't know if it's fun i feel bad it's just i don't like this this is really hard This one I kind of just want to be over. Why has the grey crow got a hook shot anyway? I had to work really hard. I can defect the deflect the projectiles. And that's definitely a good attack. If I hit the button. See? That's good. Because then it just makes more. Um doing badly yeah and i know yeah and to be fair like there isn't a single boss in this game i've done first try this is only like what my third I feel like I'm slipping and sliding all over the place. I feel so slippy, so slidey. Okay, where are you going? Where are you going? My friend, my pal. Are we not friends? Are we not pals anymore? I thought we were buddies. I thought we'd been through so much together. Apparently I was wrong. God. Ow, okay. I was starting to think that you could just do the uh, the projectile and it would be fine. Ah! But apparently I was wrong. Ah! Hmm. The ghost is playing the piano? In a Digimon game? In the Digimon game? Yikes. Actually, that was fine, <laughs> if, if not for the sheer mass of... <laughs> if not for the sheer mass of thing that created. Um... <laughs> Sorry, it's kind of funny when you make a shit ton of them and then you just have to live with it. I'm gonna do it again. It's a terrible idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway. was that what do you mean what do you mean do you mean that it took me like i died infinitely infinitely quickly i mean um because the answer is i simply hit it many times wait how far can i run oh like forever huh can i do a different boss like can i <laughs> Maybe, maybe I only feel this way because of the Yeti, you know? I want to blame it on the Yeti. I think somehow everything should be the Yeti's fault. That just feels right, you know? It just feels right that somehow, if we connect the dots, I should be able to tie this back to that Yeti thingy. That just feels right. I can't put it into words. I just want to blame that thing. You took a break between this and Yeti to get max health and spells. Did you feel like you needed it for this fight? The 
Because if you needed it, then that makes me feel nervous. Okay. Ah. Also, does this thing have phases? Because I'm petrified. If this thing has phases, that's terrifying beyond all belief. Kind of. And also the final boss, which is the hardest. Oof. Okay, this is fine as long as I never try and hit it. Never try and hit it. <laughs> Simply put. Okay. Okay, at the very minimum, I definitely shouldn't try and hit it when it's trying to hit me. Keep sucking me in? What do I what do I do about that? Ow. I feel like Betty is the hardest boss. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I'm maybe I just need to play more of this one, but like I felt like I was making good progress with Betty. Like reasonable progress anyway. Um also, I, I've just processed earlier that Toxic simply called this the bird. Um, this is the bird. You're right about that. Simply put, bird. Okay, bird, my beloved. Ah! I forgot the bombs take so long to charge up. Okay, that's one. That's another. That's another. Ah! It's not loud. I'm gonna put all the energy into a bomb. I should at least get something out of it. I have to put a lot of my personal time into that thing. Genuine, real, actual lifetime. Ah. Uh, you felt like Betty was a struggle, but you think that's because it was less fun and the final boss you sound, found super fun despite struggling. And that's not this one, right? Also, just so I know, this isn't optional. This isn't optional because I've gone through the door. That makes it feel pretty unoptional. Ah. Oh, Jesus. Um. Oh, I know why. Th this gives me vibes. The same way that I have to hit, like, as I'm moving, it's giving me um, the, the fight in Twilight Princess, where you're on the bridge, and you have to, like, stab. Ah, I don't like the way he's speeding up. Not a fan of that. What are these? Do I have to fight those? Do I not have to fight these? Getting fight vibes. Wait, what, what is this? Oh my god. You are getting terrifying, my buddy, my pal. I don't know what to do about all this situation, to be completely honest. My hedgehog buddy has turned to sin! Okay, did I do it? It's definitely giving, um... Hollow Knight vibes. <laughs> the Hollow Knight. Um... That was weird. Wait, did we... 
Is death free? Did we free death? I don't know if we chose to do that. I mean, I'm happy about it. I'm just glad that one's over. I'm sorry. That one just felt kind of yucky. I don't like how slidey that hedgehog was. I know it wasn't a hedgehog. I know it was the bird, but still. You never appreciate something till it's gone, do you? I saw a lot of that in my job. But until your Lord of Doors locked me up, I thought it would never apply to me. Death experienced a little bit of death, huh? It's always hard for the living to let go of the dead. Even more of a rough one having to reap him yourself. I can sort of understand that feeling. Even if it wasn't your intention, you've done me a huge favour here, Crow. But this isn't over quite yet. Because while the door has been destroyed, my power is unfortunately trapped. Forging the door requires a piece of my soul. And I need it back before I can do my job again. That means if you want to end the cycle, someone else has to take down the Lord of Doors. Have you guessed who? In me? I won't be making any more deals again, that's for sure. Head back to your office and reap your boss's soul. And remember, death is on your side. Thank you, death. Thank you. I'll be lurking here until the job is done. Mm. I'm so glad that death lurks. Death lurks and loiters. That feels about right. That feels about correct. You love the slippy? I don't know. Towards the end, that final run where I was getting it, it was kind of fun. Um. I don't know. I kind of feel nothing about it, I guess. I feel bad, but that one just kind of... Eh. Like, on one hand, Betty was hard. But it felt like every time I fought Betty, I was getting better at it. That one kind of just happened until it didn't, you know? That way to the Urn Witch's Mansion. Can you recommend some side stuff? Absolutely. This is, uh, I think my plan. Um, I might for now do some aimless wandering. Simply because I'm not sure where to try and head. Oh my goodness, they are easy to kill now, huh? I almost feel bad. Okay, can't get over there. Nothing this way. Are you a thing? I think that one simply fell against the wall. That's kind of a tragic way to die. Going to Jefferson, getting some hints. That might be a good idea. What is that? That is interesting. Okay, in that case, I will head down until I find a door. Does this go? This way to the summit? To the summit near a door? It's probably a door this way, right? There's doors everywhere in this game. This game is full of doors. Um, what about around here? Um, this looks doorish. If I were a door, I think I'd probably hide around here. I have some memory of it. Also, my reach is definitely better. Like, I can just tell from how comfortable it feels to kill things now. I feel so comfortable killing. Um, the boss just makes it harder and harder to move. Yeah, no, definitely, towards the end. I don't know what the, the birds did, but they felt like they were messing with my movement. Did I, did I come from this way? Did I come down here? Oh, this is why I don't aimlessly wander. I get lost so easily. Um, we'll head down this way. Then up. There's probably a fight here. Um, oh, oh, hello, hello. This is progress. This is a, third, a person. Is this the grave digger? You've certainly been keeping me busy. However, it's nice to have something to focus on. Sending the dead on their journey may seem like a depressing task, but it gives me a sense of purpose. Good for you. Good for you. Um, what is this? That absolutely looks like a thing I can get to. You know, eventually. Go down from where you said you head up. Uh, I've already forgotten where that is, unfortunately. Can I go in here? Okay, reasonable that the game won't let me bury myself alive, but still. Still, I'm offended. Um, I've already forgotten where I said I'd head down, so... I'm gonna go this way. And I feel like I'll get there eventually. This is where we came from. 
Um, if I go this way, there was, there was like a, there was a door with the Urn Witch's Mansion, right? You've done a loop. Yeah, I remember seeing the thing. I'm very easily lost. You know this. You know my sense of direction is absolute shit. Sometimes all you can do is wander around. Sometimes that's all a person has. All I have is my wandering and my swords. That's all a person needs. It is beautiful to be a crow with my swords and my wandering. Although to be fair, I have no idea where I am now. <laughs> I may have wandered too close to the sun. Although, I remember this, we solved a puzzle. And then we... A state of the earth urn witch north of the door. Oh, oh wait, hold on. We can do that now. Okay, we can do that. We can also light these things on fire. <laughs> or I can roll into the water and die. That's also an option. Okay. Why do I feel like this one's gonna... Oh, nice. So I had to have two powers to do that bit. Um, found the bit where he says it's dooring time and doors all over the bad guys. <laughs> no, party, I think that's a spoiler for the end game. Come on. You know that bit doesn't happen until the very end. Jeez. If you're gonna bring up something that pivotal to the story, you should at least you should at least wait till I've gotten to it, you know? Not just for me, but for the other people here that haven't played that far. It's so embarrassing. I could ban you for that. No spoilers. Right. Greco reminds you of the Dark Beast Pile fight in Bloodborne. I've seen that fight. Obviously, I've never played it. I couldn't meet Father Gascoigne. Um, but I've seen it. I've seen it with my own two eyes. Um, there's nothing this way, is there? <gasps> there is? Oh, no, I remember that. I remember that. There was a thing there, and we got it, and then we moved on. Oh, it's just a little easter egg. Okay, okay. So it's not a full-blown spoiler. You know, I'll, I'll allow it just for that. Just for that, I'll allow it. Spoilers when the final boss is beaten and he says this is totally dorbulous. Come on! We've arrived at a moment foretold long ago. Today their store has been opened and death themselves have been freed once more into the world. Fear not, this is not the end of days, but the beginning of a bright new future. The forces of life and death have been unnaturally thrown into chaos for a thousand years and we crows played a hand. We must right our wrongs, we must accept our fates, we must reject those who would lead us into a future without hope. So, this is all very good, but what the hell are the green things? Is anyone ever going to explain what they are? It is time for the Lord of Doors reign to end and for us to return to a natural life cycle. Even as our world teeters on the edge of oblivion, souls like these forest- Okay, forest spirits still manage to emerge through the cracks. Soon a new age will begin and the world will teem with new life. Ah, oh, okay. So they are new life. I feel so warm and sick. What is happening? I nearly choked as well. Okay. Um, Paul might be your favorite boss in Bloodborne so far, and you think that's an unpopular opinion, but there were just some moments where you felt like you got it. When I watched it, um, I watched RT Game play it, and RT Game struggled and I think had to come back to it. Um, well, no, RT Game... Yeah, like, I think RT Game found it very, very hard, which, considering I think RT Game did um, Father Gascoigne first try... Yeah. Have I seen Dorbius? Um, I've, I've not seen Dorbius. I've not seen it, so, so you wouldn't spoil it. If I've not seen it, you wouldn't spoil it, surely. The crow that freed death will have to end the Lord of Doors reign. Is that me? Oh, shit. Well, the office has become... The office is in anarchy. This can't be good. This simply cannot be a good thing. I have no doubt you'll complete your task. Have faith in yourself. Oh my god. Okay, what does everyone else think? So I guess we're all gonna be out of the job. Finally, I can be free of the rat race. I never wanted to be a reaper. It's just a matter of necessity. I wonder what I could do next. I guess endless possibilities lie ahead. Of course, it all depends on you finishing your job without getting killed in the process, but I reckon you'll get it done. But I can die. Do they not know that? 
I know it seems the world's ending, but I really hope I can find a new job. I just love typing. The feel of the keys on my feathers, the clicking and clacking as I push them down. Look at me getting carried away. Go on, you'd best finish clearing this mess up. I have a resume to write. I kind of like Agatha, the typist. Agatha's amazing. <laughs> all this death and rebirth is a daunting prospect, but I think everyone here is sick of what the world has become. A new world, a new start. I wonder if there'll be new TV shows too. And ball plot. I hope there are new movies, perhaps taking place in the mall. Uh, I feel like my whole world is crumbling, but somehow I always feel hopeful. Aw, maybe I won't have to work so hard anymore. Please, I, I hope Chandler gets to rest. Um, I... shit, I don't have enough. That's upsetting. But I'm not far from the next, like if I can do more exploring, I might be okay. Uh, right, okay, so if we go to Jefferson for clues, let's see if I can remember where Jefferson is. Best way to Jefferson. State of the Iron Witch in a furnace. Ah, I do not know the best way to Jefferson. I have never figured out how this game works in terms of navigation, like it just does not, it does not come naturally to me. I have no idea what is going on most of the time. Um, you think people find it hard because the lock-on attaches to its head, which is too high to hit, so the fight becomes rough, but you worked out super fast that you could target the chest. Like, Toby hated the boss till you told them about it, and then they beat it eventually. So it's difficult because, like, most people, because there's a little bit of unintuitive lock-on, that seems, yeah, that would bother me. I think I found that rough in Bloodborne. In general, like, um, lock-on where you can't move the lock-on to something new quickly is a little annoying. Um, like, lock-on in Twilight Princess, or, or Zelda games in general, um, no, no, Twilight Princess, because I think in Breath of the Wild it's fine, um, where it's locked onto one thing, and to lock on something else you have to unlock on, and then look in its direction and try again. Bothersome. Bothered me. I was perturbed. It's a lockstone. Ah, there we go. That's a stranded sailor. Um, you have ice cream? I want ice cream. I have ice cream in the fridge, to be fair. Lovely. I love Grunt. I love Grunt a lot. Um, I have ice cream. It's just that the ice cream I have is uh, honeycomb and it is in the freezer. Did you save my Betty? Oh. Oh, drunk crow. Oh, I... I'm so sorry. I killed Betty. She was too far gone. Hey there. Thanks again for the adventure. I've never seen anything like it. And I got enough material to make my magnum opus. I'll listen. Hopefully listening to this will make Drunk Crow um, capable of mourning. The Drunk Crow did love her last name, Betty. But it turned out she was a big, hairy yeti. Good for her. Good for her. The hero and the beast battled till they both got all sweaty. I am pretty sweaty, actually. It's kind of warm in my room. But Betty the Yeti got sliced into spaghetti. And now we'll never see that wedding confetti. This is Bob Bestie. I don't know. I just got... I just got an achievement called Bang in Tune. I don't know if this poor mourning creature necessarily feels the same way. Oh, shit. I... I didn't mean to make Bob perform it again, but I suppose... I suppose the drunk crow is simply gonna have to listen to this. This is kind of awkward. Is the stranded sailor a crowbar? No! The stranded sailor? Is... Well, I don't- well, actually, I don't know what the Stranded Sailor is, but the- the- the, the person that owns it is 100% real. A real-life, alive human. Um, what is the Stranded Sailor? I think it's an upside-down ship? Yeah, I think it's upside-down. Anyway, this is a real person. A real, alive guy. I had some strange customers you wouldn't believe. One guy had a pot for a head. Crazy. I've never seen anything unusual as as a person with non-normal person characteristics. 
Lost my fish head soup. Would you like to try soup? Yes, I would. Thank you. <sighs> Your name, Jefferson. God damn. I've still never seen 21, 22. I forget the number, but the number Jump Street. I sure do love preparing food with my multi-digited mammal hands. Hmm. So do I. That is a feeling I think we can all agree upon. And that is also how I eat. Now let me tell you a little something while you ingest nutrients. To the west of the cemetery, behind a rock. Oh god, okay, I'm gonna take a picture of these, because otherwise I'm gonna just straight up forget. I'm, I'm going to forget. It will immediately disappear from my brain. Okay. But it requires some sort of powerful force or explosion. Hidden path next to an elevator in the center of the cemetery. Secret lies submerged between the beneath the moat. Complete primary open flame to the East Gardens. Okay. That's all I have. Excellent. Already forgotten both. Which is why it's a good thing I took a picture. Stan Bob. <laughs> I don't know if I stand Bob for creating trauma for this for this poor little character. Maybe I do, actually. You raise a valid point. Maybe I do. Um, okay. Send you the clip of the time you beat Parks. It is one of your favourite moments of fighting in any game. We did a perfect dodge backwards and healed at the same time. Hold on. That sounds like it would pop off. Let me have a look at this. Sorry. Hang on. Let me open this there. First attempt of the night as well. Good job. Oh god. The, the quality of this video. Look at what enemies are just so big. Very nice. Prey slaughtered indeed. Holy shit. Black one, black one enemies are big. That was three? Fuck. I thought that was two. Hold on. Are you sure? West of the cemetery behind a rock, there's a passage. The knees exploding. There's a hidden path. Oh, I see. There's a hidden path next to an elevator in the center of the cemetery just after you cross the Great Bridge. That seems the mo re most recognizable. Center of the cemetery, near an elevator. Right. Let's go. So we're looking for cemetery, which I'm pretty sure is up this way. Um. Your name, Jeff, is in 22, which is the sequel to 21. Okay. I just get confused, because I swear 21 Jump Street is like a remake of 21 Jump Street or something. I don't know. Okay, cemetery. So we're going to the center of the cemetery. Just after you cross the Great Bridge. So I need to find the Great Bridge. Which is in the center of the cemetery. So, so I should probably head this way. I'm just going to kill things as I go. This game's... I do kind of wish this game had a map. Like, I know why it doesn't, because I feel like it would be very hard to have a map. Uh, but I would kind of enjoy one, nonetheless. <laughs> nonetheless, I think a map would make me happy. Is this a great bridge? I mean, it, it looks pretty great. Do you say so myself? Uh, or at the very least, like a north, east, south, west, so you know when you're in the middle, that kind of thing, I think would be helpful. Um, the big boss in Bloodborne. <laughs> Heart. But as long as they're not Ligarius. Ligarius doesn't count. Ligarius isn't a big boss. The like Garius is simply a big nuisance. Okay. At least the mini enemies are way easier to kill now. Like, way easier. That doesn't seem right. Although, have I? Huh. Huh. Further that way. Okay, further this way. 
Wait, hold on. Can I go this way? Hmm. The eternal thought appearing sign from your window and then a stream past through your window. Finally! Another person lives on my road and can experience that. It was only earlier party that uh, Toxic was mentioning how uh, they hear a car and still expect to hear that noise. I'm giving everyone fear regarding hearing a car on stream and then in real life too. This is what I've always wanted. Post game big door? Oh, that's a post game big door? Damn. So there's that door and then there's the post game big door. I'll continue up the ladder. Like up these? Stream delay kicks my ass when I'm looking for stuff. Like absolutely kicks my ass. Like this way? Back by, back by the post game big door. Okay, okay. Okay, let's see if I can remember where that was. <laughs> Can't be that hard, right? But yeah, um, my sense of direction is absolute dog shit. Um, and I really need a map. Um, Ligarius is small and hard to hit. Is Ligarius that small? Oh, no, Ligarius is like the guy on the... I've just done a loop, haven't I? This is the door I came from, isn't it? Uh, I can just follow the trail of dead bodies, right? It's different, but also correct. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wait, how many? Okay, eight, three, four. Oh, God, I wish this game had a map. Wait, what's this? Oh. I see. I mean, this certainly also seems secret. Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Not what I wanted! Not what I intended! Definitely not the plan! Okay. Um, so as much as I can, I should try not to disturb anything here. Because it will have unforeseen circumstances. Oh, the enemy grinding room. Okay. Actually, now that you say that, you're right. I'm going to enemy grind. These are the ones that just kind of loom at you, aren't they? They do hurt, to be fair. Like, it's not like they don't hit me. Oh my god. There's so many. Like, I'm, I'm intending to stop killing them, it's just that I keep finding more. Um, you love when the stream siren syncs for the RL sirens, committing audible noise in thine ears. Oh, it is fun, it is fun. Oh, we laugh, we laugh, we laugh. We chuckle, we holler. We feel giddy. Giddy with bliss. Oh my god, this- we've got like, at least a hundred extra little itty bitty soul points from this. Um, that's pretty nice. It's pretty poggers. You spent two hours in here to get 200? That's valid, honestly. Yeah. Because, I mean, they're not super hard to kill. They're, like, comfortable enough to kill that you forget that... Um, you forget that you can't, like, regenerate health. Um, this is... Well, so I'm guessing this isn't even the thing that the game wanted, right? This is just separate. I've just found something else. That's okay. You know, sometimes these things happen. That's not what I meant to do. That was stupid. I didn't mean to fall off the bridge. Um. Okay, so we'll set fire to that. I keep forgetting what the button is. I'm sorry, give me a moment, because I have genuinely forgotten what I pressed to use fire. Is it B? Do I hold down B? Okay, it is B. Fuck. That was the head emptiest moment I think I've ever had in my life. Wow. Um, all you had left is the skill upgraded, upgrade, so you needed to collect points, and so this place is right next to a door. Yeah. 
So you could just keep going back, reset, keep going back, reset. Oh my god, yeah, okay, I see. I see now. The only downside is the reach means that sometimes you just keep hitting and you don't want to. Like sometimes you want to be done with the killing and it just does not end. Although it is kind of sad. It's, it's like kind of satisfying in a way that I can't fully put into words that I just, just get to keep killing things. Like they just keep perishing. I hit them, they die. I hit them, they die. There's more of them, they die. It's great. It's the most fun I've had in uh, a single room ever. Like, I'm not even really taking any hits yet. I just keep hitting. And if I do take a hit, there's a, there's a green thing right there. God, okay, I'm not gonna, like, grind this room, but I am... I'd have to have 2,000, I think, to be able to get two upgrades. So I'm just gonna kill everything I can, I guess, and see how many that is. Because if that is just straight up 2,000, why not? Ow. I suppose that's why not. Oh, that's way more. Hmm. Yeah, you get a lot more done if you're doing it that way, huh? Okay, um, let's just keep going through this section. Okay, so this is like a, what's the outcome of this? What is the outcome of this? Oh my god, they explode. They explode, huh? I think that's the first time I've seen these. Okay, this area is kind of fun. This is just enemies like you've seen in the game until this point. Right? Oh, you're new! You're new! Very new, very new, very weird. Gross mother moment, am I right? Ha ha ha, I'm laughing, I'm laughing. <sighs> You're fairly sure you just sat at the D&D podcast on while doing this repeat, room on repeat for a couple of hours? God, yeah, yeah, I get that. Um, It's kind of fun. Like I can see how just doing this as a repetitive task while like listening to something could be enjoyable. Um, It's kind of hard to, like, it's hard to generate stimulus while doing this. Does that make sense? Like, like this is easy enough to, to, to play through and just do. But thinking of original thoughts whilst doing this is like, I feel like I'm thinking through syrup. I do not have an original thought in my head right now. I have nothing. No original thoughts. Only, only soup. Brain soup. Oh, okay, hold on. So I need to use that and then that. Okay, um, I was also just guessing I'd have to do it quickly. I, I hope I'm right. Oh, this is the bow upgrade? You better not use a bow, my friend. I would be bothered if you can use a bow. You're not supposed to have long range attacks. You're a video game enemy. Video game enemies don't have long range attacks. Okay, no, but you do have that. That's fine. Okay, these guys are way easier when, um, yeah, when your experience recently has been end game bosses. Although I say that, I'm definitely not gonna get it first try. Like, it's still hard. <clears throat> Ow. Particularly when he's got like three things going on. Ow. Maybe I should not have called this guy easy. 
Hmm. Maybe I should not have done that. Alas, now I look a fool. Okay. Ah, okay, I forgot that he was gonna do something like that. It's fine. How? God, I'm impatient. I'm so impatient. I'm very impatient. I haven't done the fire one, right? No, I have done the fire one. Oh, the fire one was the first one. Hell yeah, nice. Good to know. So I did the fire one, which was apparently the hardest, which then preps me for simply everything else. Ah, so he's gonna do that. And that's fine, I can do bullet hell. I've lived in bullet hell most of my life. What is a city if not bullet hell? Um. I found Sarah before you did the urn witch boss, which was insane. How? I, to be fair, I can't even like picture where I came from to get to this bit right now. Ow. I need to be in pa uh, more patient. Like, I keep just thinking in my head that this one's easy. <laughs> but it's not, and I need to really look out for when he does something like that. Or when he does something like that. Or when he does something like that. I need to... God. Maybe if I was in a more patient mood. But alas. Which I am not. I'm feeling like an impatient little character today. I'm feeling very impatient. Um... You get to everything but this actual fight with fire only. You can get to everything but this actual fight. Wait, what? My brain is not working. Uh, this might have to be a short stream today. God, I hope I feel more mentally present on Wednesday because I, I do plan on doing a long stream. Um, which will go very badly if I... If I feel as brain foggy as I do now. To be fair, it's been a long day for me. God. Also, I don't remember who it was who called me out for saying to be fair all the time, but they've broken me. They've broken me. I know who I am now in a way that a person should not know. A person should not be this viscerally aware of their vocal repetitive thing, you know? Okay. We should all get to hide in peace and not know what we say all the time. It was a good phrase to be fair. It is! It's a perfect phrase! And it has been taken away from me! Ow. That wasn't supposed to hit. That never hits. Okay, bullet hell, bullet hell, bullet hell. Ow. Stupid. Okay. Can't be, can't be that alive, can he? How are you so alive, my buddy, my pal, my friend? I would not be if I were in your situation. If you stabbed me several times with a sword, <laughs> you can bet that I would be down. I would go down easy. I would go down easy like a child at their nighttime nap. I think he's only on like phase three. Hence why I died. Do you remember what I called this one easy? Round one. Try one. I had a lot of hubris. Had because I no longer have hubris. I'm hubrisless. I promise. I have not had hubris since 1907. So little hubris in me. I promise. I promise. Um, the whole dungeon is accessible with fire, but you need hookshot and bombs to get into this fight. So, uh, wait, and you did this before Urn Witch? How did you have hookshot and bombs before Urn Witch? No way. I, I must be misinterpreting because that is feral. I mean, I, I know... I know you're good at the video game, but still. 
Okay. There's good at the video game, and then there's what I'm interpreting of your words, which is just feral. You didn't do this fight, you sent the message before I got into the fight room. Wait, okay, so you did this section, but not the fight. I'm so sorry. Like, I feel like you've said something very coherent, and then I've just read it backwards. Um, which, funnily enough, makes reading harder. Funnily enough, most sentences are supposed to be written, uh, written? Read? In the order they are written. There we go. Goodness. Please perish. Please perish and die, my friend. I would like your upgrade. I want your spicy upgrade. Ow. Ow! <laughs> I would really like to heal right now. I really want to. Damn, okay, that was narrow. I was on one and I really think I was... I think I took a hit there, to be completely honest. I think, I think I narrowly avoided it. <sighs> okay, so if I hold it for longer, I can do more damage. And I got an achievement called the Hawkeye. Step, step. Terrifying. Um. Ah, I see. I get it. Oh, this is a terrible idea. These things might actually kill me. I might leave. Actually, no. Fuck it. Nothing can kill me. I am simply too strong. Okay, that's really satisfying. <laughs> I like that a lot. That's really good. That's, that's, um, that's very good. I think I might run over and grab that, actually. Um, and then... Is that... Is that all of it? No, there's a section around here. Okay. We sure are gaming. We're gaming so hard. And so badly. Um, but yeah, today's gonna be a short stream. Because I, I, I actively feel so head empty. I don't think thinking has ever been harder for me than right now. <laughs> and it sure is very hard. I think I used up all of my thinking, pressing buttons energy um, on Betty. Also, what is this? Is this an item? Is that up? How do I get my item? Probably this way, right? Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. That was the exit of the other room. So I should probably head back down there. Um, wait, hold on. There was a lever. Pull the lever. Wrong lever. I've never even seen that film and I never will. I can't remember what it's called. I think I'm cooking. Like I, I feel so sweaty. It's not even that warm. If it was like four weeks ago, maybe. Maybe then I'd have a point. It's like a normal temperature right now. Um. Oh, I picked a bad route through there, huh? Um. Oh, and I was wondering why this had respawned, but they respawned because I technically died, didn't I, in the, uh, the fight against the fire guy, like, several times, even. What's the plan for Wednesday? Wednesday, uh, the plan is to ideally feel more capable of thought than right now. Um. And then I think I'm gonna start the stream half an hour early um yeah and then i think i'm going to start the stream at like half seven and try and go for at least three hours four hours uh but the plan is to do um wii game stream basically so use the wii u pick up my silly little item yay a compass delightful delightful little treat just for me um but yeah to play uh splatoon 
and also the top model game. And also, how do I leave? How do I leave? Don't tell me I leave through the exit I just found. Do I? Why was that? Back up the big ladder? Or the big ladder? I don't know where there's a big ladder. There's a big one? There's a big one. This way? Not this way, this way. Oh, the steps? There were steps? This entire room feels completely new. I don't think I've been, uh, I don't think I've played this game. America's Next Top Model? Um, and Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. You know, hit games that everyone knows and loves. There we go. This big ladder. Oh, I see. Now I see what you mean. That's very fair. That's a pretty big ladder. Yeah, I'm a little blind. Listen, it's been a long day. Um, I don't know where I'm going from here either, to be honest. Uh, so I was looking for the Great Bridge, wasn't I? Although, okay, just because I, I genuinely feel like my skull is broken, like I legitimately feel like I'm just not thinking. Um, I'd say not thinking straight, but definitely not. Um, I think I might end the stream because something has happened in like the past hour where I feel like, I feel like my brain is turning to mold. I feel like I'm molding over. Um, your brain being programmed for navigation makes it fun to watch. My brain is programmed for Google Maps. I can use Google Maps so good. You have no idea. My Google Maps skills are unheard of. My skills with anything outside of Google Maps, such as recognizing visual locations and applying that knowledge, that's... How do I say worse? It's worse. Um, also, how the fuck- Do you know how I used to stream um, without my glasses? What was I doing? Because I can't- Was that really what I was seeing? Oh, I suppose when my hair's not in my face, it's a little easier, but like... Jeez, I could not read Twitch chat. Uh, no wonder Mellow Blind came about. So part is that depending on what's going on in Oxford, you have no idea how much of it you'll be able to see. I'm so sorry. Well, I hope that you socialise in Oxford, and I hope it's fun. Uh, and I hope everyone there isn't, like, Oxford students. Not that Oxford students are a little sassy and weird, but... As we all are at heart. As we all are. They are our most natural beings on this world. But yeah, I think I do need sleep. I I have spent approximately an hour and a half on buses today, and I spent a long time wandering around a shopping centre that I've never been to before. And it was really fun. I had a really nice day. I really enjoyed putting myself on a bus, going to like, like a high street of a place I'm unfamiliar with, wandering around, going to a cafe, and leaving. I had an amazing cappuccino. It was really good. I want to go back to that place again, unfortunately. I'm now hyper aware that it's a 45 to 50 minute bus ride. Or like a 25 minute drive. I'm starting to want to learn how to drive. So I can actually drive rather than because I want the skill. But anyway, I am going to end the stream because I, I feel so, squ I feel squelchy. I feel squishy and mushy. I feel mushy. Um, but yeah, I will be back on Wednesday for the, um, Wii game, Wii U game stream. So that is America's Next Top Model, Marin Sonic at the Olympic Games, and Splatoon. Probably not in that order. Although I don't know what order. We'll have to see. Um, so until then, thank you all for hanging out today and dealing with the steady descent of my brain into madness. Um... And 
yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. I hope you enjoy reading. You can finish another book. Trash, you, every year, you look at that reading challenge and you, um, you immediately destroy it. Immediately. But yeah, thank you all for hanging out today. I will see you on Wednesday. Enjoy the rest of your week. Enjoy the rest of your evening. And until then, XOXO, go piss.